Good morning. <laughs> Camera. How's everyone doing? I had almost, almost missed the stream. But I'm good. Let's see, number five. Where is number five? There is number five. Dice works. Dice doesn't work. Ah. Dice works. Dice works. Okay. Whew. That was quickly, quickly getting things done. Huh. I'm laggy for some, some weird reason today. Hold. Hey, good morning, Orbi. Kuru. Say art. Doing like pancake. Was that flat and round? Is that how it goes? It's finally, finally uh, starting to look like uh, spring here. It's like 10 degrees today. Even though 10 degrees is not that much, it's better than snowing. There's, uh, you know, it's properly spring. Lag your worst enemy. Maybe it's me lagging the stream, but at the moment now, I'm not seeing any warning warnings or anything. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully it's not uh, anything. Um, anything in particular. Good morning, Atsuki. So let's, um, I, was, I was thinking maybe uh, painting something today with colors. Let's try something like that, perhaps. But obviously not just. Well, that could be interesting. Let's see what that does. So, how about some topics? Ah, uh, what? The screenshot was wrong. I cropped the wrong thing. Fantastic. Okay, there we go. Okay, topics. Hey, Coldburger Art, thanks for hosting. Good morning, Captain Jetlag, Tormod, Hellraiser, Rogue 13 Pole Count, and Master 777 Oz, thanks for the host. Ooh, Space Moose Rider. Glowworm Forest Collecting Person. Demonic Rooster. Topic Disco Dancer. Scars of the Past. Turtle on Meth. <laughs> oh, Captain Jetlag, you have, you have so much salt. Let's see. It's hilarious if it's going to be number four. Number five. Oh, yeah. And that is one, two, three, four, five. Atsuki won the topic today. And it's Scars of the Past. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Scars of the Past. Okay, Atsuki. All right. Let's do it. Where's the timer? Come on. Ugh. What's with the with the thing in thingy today? Something's fishy. Uh, Timish Laba and Novi Art, thanks for the host. Great stuff. Oh. Yeah, Captain Jetlag, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. So, Scars of the Past. Scars of the Past. Innocently, what I thought was just some tri tribal thing. 
I'm not really sure of, about that. Um, scars of the past. Scars of the past. Hmm. Okay. So let's try. I saw this um, this fighter standing and uh, showing uh, like his um, his uh, um, what's it called past wins like when he wins he. Uh, I'm still making that noise. I have no idea. Captain Jetlag. <laughs> if saltiness counts as a negative thing in um, job injury. Come on. I'd say I'd say maybe you're probably onto something there that it's counted as not anything good to be salty in a job interview. It's just a wild guess. It's so funny, it's salty though. It's such a, it's such a thing that you can pick up. Like, I can feel your saltiness, you know. Some people just don't. They 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 uh, they are quite open with it. I wonder actually where that kind of saltiness originates from, because for me, at least, it's a it's a kind of new term. I mean, it's obviously not the term that was used when I was younger. Didn't really hear it. Uh, Sayart, all right, I can I can give him some nipple rings. Um, but yeah, salty, that is uh, for me new. Like, not new new, like I heard it yesterday, but rather new. That's pretty cool. Cheers for that, Captain Jetlag. That's a good little tidbit of uh, information. You look stupid for something you've done. And you look salty. Well, yeah, it's definitely like competitive gaming uh, meme of sort. I wonder with the, the green here as an accent. We'll see. <laughs> hey, Eric East. Welcome. You're back. Nice to have you back. And then that's hilarious with the ice cream. Uh, <laughs> of all the flavors, you choose to be salty. <laughs> that's a good one. It 
there's a, there's a lot of Eric's that are gonna take over the world. We have to do something about it. We all have to band together. I'm feeling the ban hammer. Too many, uh, too many Eric's. It's not good. And only one Bjorn. Where, where is this world heading? It's not good. So I was thinking, um, the, uh, on my way to, to dropping my son off uh, school today, uh, that I wonder how long I've actually been streaming. Um, Anifas38115 um, Yeah, I was thinking the other day, um, today, when I was dropping my kid off, as I was saying, uh, when I actually started streaming, it has to be kind of anniversary at some point soon. <laughs> there can only be one Eric, yeah. Eric the Great, Eric the Red, Eric the, the Eric of the Night, you know. You all have to have this um, uh, knight's uh, handle, you know, like you're a noble noble warrior. Eric of the Red Rose. You have to choose your banner and then uh, then have um, a thunder <coughs> a thunderdome like an elimination contest <coughs> where uh, one Eric, two Eric's uh, enter one Eric leave and you just kind of go down the list until there's only one one true Eric and uh, and then you should probably get some sort of special avatar or something and each. Every third month, you have an Eric off, where um, where you battle to be the one true Eric, and maybe there's some sort of rights to it, like you can tell any other Eric to to uh, do one thing for you every third month. You have like one one anything goes card. Hey, good morning, Novio. Thanks for the host, by the way, and uh, thanks for uh, joining. It's very appreciated. Good morning, dear Bart. How are you today? Glad that you could make it. I'm so looking forward to the Saturday stream. It's going to be some cool entries, I think. You guys have been really, uh, really um, putting effort in, for, like from from uh, even the same Saturday night as the topic was posted uh, two two weeks ago. Some entries started popping up. It's awesome. And you guys have been really, really uh, hard at work, which is great. Nefas, are you riding the struggle bus? That is a hilarious struggle bus. That got to be a, a, a new coined term. Struggle bus. Fantastic. It even rolls off the mouth in a great way. Struggle bus. Sounds like some sort of creature from some kid's story. Be, be careful, kids, or the struggle bus will get you. <laughs> struggle bus. It's a cool turn, though. I'm definitely going to adopt it. All aboard the struggle bus. <laughs> uh, Lou Rib, um, he, um, on the Discord channel, he suggested like one of the special streams we could do Pictionary 
I think that would be cool. We could be on Google Hangouts and uh, do Pictionary. I think that would be awesome. That's a good idea. And they fast. Yeah, I mean, with the nature of internet, anyone can all will always. There's always one brother that says, "I was first, even though they weren't. Just they think they were first. So, who knows who came up with struggle bus? But it's a great term, regardless. Uh, Kuru Pictionary is um, someone gets a randomly picked word, and without um, talking, only uh, drawing, you have to draw the word, and there's a timer, and you have to guess it within the time, right? And you're in teams, so that your team members are guessing on what you're drawing, or the other way around. Maybe not your team members, or I don't know, with the specifics, but you have to guess what the someone is drawing and if you guess right uh, you get points so I'm guessing it's your team uh, and then it's the next person's turn to get a random word and the, that person starts drawing and everyone else guesses I'm guessing on, on the same team and then you switch teams and go back and forth like that hey spends an art nefas <laughs> oh that that's a automatic win Uh, say art. I think um, I'm gonna do uh, the scars somewhat tribal. Um, I'm currently just kind of building the the character a bit, or the form. Hey, Novio. Yeah, I'm I'm fine, thank you. How are you? What's up with you lately? Anything cool? All work, no business, no play. What's happening? By the way, uh, Kotaku, um, they showed an uh, art dump from, uh, uh, what's it called? Andromeda, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda on Kotaku. It looked pretty cool. Uh, my my favorite artist of them all, though, uh, on that dump was uh, Thomas Pringle. He does such good art. I love his way of painting and doing uh, brush marks, and he does, he's quite unique in it. If you want to see some cool art, check out Thomas Pringle. Hey, Mr. Panka. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, absolutely not, Kuru. It doesn't matter how good you are, it's the other people who have to guess. So in a way, it, it is how good you are to draw, in a way where other people can uh, um, guess guess what you're drawing. But I'm guessing Kim Jung, uh, what, Kim Jung uh, Gi uh, probably don't have that problem of people don't know uh, what he's drawing. But the problem is, is not just how good you are, because you're not timer as well, right? Um, so that's that's also important to be able to communicate the drawing in, in a timely manner. So maybe Kim Jong Un. I mean, all his drawings are done sped up, right? We don't see him doing those in in, in real time. Maybe he draws really really slow. But he doesn't draw really, really slow because I've seen him draw live, and it's 
is a little bit like a printer. <laughs> Scary human art printer. This goes perfectly. That's cool, Novio. Novio. So you'll be uh, sharing art from your phone. That's pretty cool. Let's try to do some kind of tribal esque things. <laughs> so it's an art that's hilarious. <laughs> The, like a really, really good artist just crumbles on, under the pressure from uh, Pictionary. It's not like working with a uh, Warhammer or anything is, is pressure. It's just like Pictionary and, and, and you can't deal with it. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Kuro, yeah, I know. He, he he's not super fast or anything, but uh, he's e efficient, really, really efficient. But with like everyone, he's he's just human, and he's just practiced a lot. So I mean, there's no magic involved. It's just crazy, uh, just cre crazy. Um, Dedication to uh, his his uh, words to his trade skill set no whatever you know what I mean you know what I'm trying to say. He's really good though. I like artists like him. Um, Marko Djurjevic uh, is also in a similar way where he has drawn uh, in his style so much that he doesn't need to practice that much. You know, he can just go st straight to line and make it up as he goes along. It's really cool to see. I mean, we all can do it to some extent, but uh, when you practice your own style so much, especially for like doing comic books where you have to draw the same character in different, slightly different poses and, and uh, angles all the time, you get really, really good at it uh, rather fast. If you're, you know, if you have to do that at that, do it at that level, where it's, uh, you know, very. Uh, you know, high quality comic stuff. Uh, I'm quite sure Kim Jung uh, Gi also uh, is doing his own comic or doing comic art for someone else. I haven't really read about him, uh, you know, what he does, but both, let's say, Marco in this instance and, and Kim Jung Gi, they, uh, they definitely are the comic artists. And uh, they have it down. Craftier, yeah, thanks, Susan. Hey, Bintran, welcome back. Novio, um, about posting old art and even older studies and selling them as new ones. Do you mean selling them as in for money or or trying to convince people they're new? How are you doing, Ben? How's it going? You're back. 
Welcome back. So we're 10 minutes left, 20 minutes in so far. I'd say we're getting there. I mean, obviously, I put down a lot of groundwork. Um, maybe not the best thing to do. Um, but what can you do? I decided to go this route. and uh, It's getting in. It's kind of interesting. There's a little bit doesn't really say that much. This this uh, painting it's a little bit bland, and I still haven't used the green as an accent. I think I can help to to push something back here. Let's see. A smart move, maybe, maybe not. Could be cool to kind of suggest maybe that this green is used as a blanket. Let's go with that. Let's go with uh, maybe some circle or element in here. Let's go this route. We got eight minutes to. To change this up a bit to see what happens. Let's switch brush as well. It's a lot of hard brown brush. Not a big fan of the green. It kind of made things look weird. But let's run with it. Can't go back now. Have to make it work. That's cool, Bin. Great. No view. I don't. And, um, I don't really think. Uh, I mean, why would you try to convince someone that old studies are are new? I mean, assuming I'm assuming you're 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 seeing someone doing it, and that's why you're asking, or maybe you're asking because you are unsure if you should do it. But I mean, nothing is wrong with saying here's an old study. And not the new one. Other than if you're saying that, oh, I've been hard at work and look at my new study, and it's an old study, then maybe you should uh, reconsider why you're trying to convince anyone that it's uh, a new study. You know. But other than other than that, doesn't matter. I don't think anyone really cares if it's a good study. It's a good study. I mean, uh, a lot of people. I thought about this the other day, but there's a lot of thought about new content all the time. Uh, a lot of artists also go go back and, and change and, and adjust and enhance. That could also be a you know valid thing. Like oh, I went back to this old painting. <laughs> been no um, the palette I did from um, uh, gamut mask generator um, and uh, it's like a challenge to to get a palette and make something out of the palette um, but yeah it could almost be green because I have a green t-shirt so definitely but unfortunately that's not the case in, in here oh yeah now I remember Let's use my uh, new smudge brush I, I played with yesterday. See what that does. Why isn't it? Is it? Oh, it is. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh, I'll use another trick I remember. Let's do that. And then do, let's use a scatter brush. Oh, 
know. It's kind of something's happening. Concentration phase. <laughs> Too busy thinking. Not enough time to talk. Ben, yeah. Yeah, there's lots of tricks you can do, but I'm not sure I, I, I like the, the addition. But it's, it does bring it forward a little bit better. I guess that's a good thing. So three and a four minutes more or less left. Okay. Let's flip it and see what it does. I'm not too overly keen on the the colors to be to be honest. It's a little bit mm, boring. Let's see if we can't change it. Let's let's screw the, the gamut mask. I'm looking for that just a little bit clearer purple. It's pretty cool though. But it does also give it a nice muted feel. I think this green helps. I'm not sure though. No. No. What I, what I do want to play with is maybe put in some greys. Just to help lift some colors. Say art. <laughs> you you're really keen on those nipple rings. This man has suffered enough already. <laughs> That's great. That's great, Kuro. Okay. Let's leave his nipples alone. Panic mode. Time is running out. <laughs> Gotta get something done. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. Fun to do warm ups. Fun to be challenged. I think. I think that is one of the the best things about my warm-ups is that I'm, I feel like I'm challenged. Like I have no control over what I have to draw and I definitely don't go to comfort zones. <clears throat> and, um, and it's a learning experience, uh, even though not all warm-ups are great. It's definitely challenging, which I think I can definitely take away stuff from. So cheers for that guys and girls.
there's a lots of dark comments, some guts running out and <laughs> you guys need to go look at some cute kids movies and not zombie death and destruction and nipple clamps and <laughs> there's a uh, there's cute movies too not only death and destruction and torture <laughs> Captain Jetlag, cheers. Uh, hey, Pie Master. Good morning and welcome. Ah, oh, thanks, Kuru. It's a little. I, I, I don't know really. Uh, for me, it's lacking a little bit, but it's getting there. It's getting there. It was fun, fun to do. Uh, <laughs> happy three friends. Yeah, when they kill each other. Um, Thanks everyone for coming. Have a fantastic day, evening. Uh, see you tomorrow morning. And uh, catch you on Discord. All right. Bye everyone. Outro time.